And we had a lot of Francis Marion family here today for homecoming too. So it is some pressure. The home team, you've got to hold home court. You've got to hold serve. And you always want to try to play well when there's so many people in the stands and so many alumni who will say bad things about the coach if you happen to lose. And But hopefully they'll say some halfway decent things about me today because we won. And that makes it very a very happy day for me. Davis wasn't hitting shots at all today. But Dietrich Browning was hitting shots. Yes, he did. And we really needed that in the first half because we were sputtering. Yep. Thank God we were playing defense, though, you know? And that's, that's the beauty of defense. You can be sputtering offensively, which we were, you know? Right. And, but we held them to 25 points. I mean, you know, there have been times this year that we've given up 25 points in five minutes. We gave up 25 points in 20 minutes, and that held us in the game until somebody um, got hot, until somebody got hot. And that somebody was Dietrich Browning. Yeah. I mean, that's just a, a sign. You talk about him being a leader. He does it in several ways. But yeah. some, you know, you need him to do a lot of things, but sometimes you just need him to take control on the floor of yeah. a game, right? He does. He is. He, I'll tell you, he's showing, starting to show so much maturity now, as is a, – a lot of the guys that I didn't know if they had it in them or not, but they're starting to show some maturity, which is, I guess, as a sophomore, you should start seeing that out of guys. But Dietrich, I just really, there's, you know, as a coach, I've been doing this for a long time. There's certain guys that are special to you. And, and Dietrich is going to be, is going to be, you know, one of those special guys, you know, and he is. He does what you need him to do, you know. He doesn't always play a perfect game, but he's always working hard and he tries to do what he needs to do. And he's like, right, tonight he needed to shoot. Sometimes he needs to pass. Sometimes he needs to play better defense. But tonight we needed to make, he may need to make some buckets, and he did. Yep. So. We had talked about guarding against a letdown against a team that had only won two league games. Yeah. And it looked like you guys were yeah. <laughs> pretty good on that front. I thought it was solid. Yeah. I thought, really, I thought the guys handled it very, very well. Um, we, we got off to, again, like a slow start because of our offense, I think. But once that cranked up a little bit, um, you know, I thought it was a solid game for us. Again, Flagler's a very good offensive team. They're like Aiken. They're like, uh, you know, some of these other clubs that can score a lot of points. And for us to hold them down defensively as we did for a lot of the game, you know, there, there certainly was some uh, letdowns there. But for most of the game, I thought we did a pretty good job. So um, it was a good win. We did what we set out to be. You know, this four-game homestand, we said nothing less than four. And we had um, – you know, three of those teams were pretty good teams. Georgia College, Lander, Flagler, not anything against our, our, our Johnson & Wills brothers. They make a beautiful souffle. But we thought we should win that. We thought we should win that. But we wanted four. We wanted four. You know, and we did. We got them. But now, you know, I tell you, this is the best that we've felt about home. This is the best that I've felt about home since I've been here. I think we really had a home court advantage the last two games. Mm -hmm. So I feel warm and fuzzy about home. And then wouldn't you know it, now we've got to go on the road. We have to go to that nasty, dimly litted Armstrong State. <laughs> when they did, when uh, Flagler did make runs at you in the second half, I and mean, they got it down within striking distance a couple of times, but you guys answered that every time. Yeah. Thank goodness. Defense? I mean, I, I did. I, I said loudly enough for some people to hear. I said, all right, you wanted a game? we got a game now. You know, they knocked it down to 13. All right, we better uh, pull up our britches and, and start playing. And, and then A.J. hit a shot. You know, it seemed like every time we needed that little spurt, one of the guys hit a shot. A.J. hit one. I think maybe Dietrich hit one, whatever. And then that gave us a little, uh, that gave us a little uh, working margin. So, so no, I'm, I'm pleased as punch. I'm, I'm really happy about the defense. Pleased as punch. That's an old saying. No. Um, I'm happy with the defense. I'm really happy with the defense that, that we're starting to understand. And, and it comes at a good time because you know when you go on the road, defense is what travels well. Offense, you know, you're going to miss shots, but defense travels well. I read that somewhere. I didn't make that up. Oh, I, got, I got some nice quotes. But I read that somewhere, that defense travels well. And uh, so hopefully we're going to be able to take that defense with us to, to Savannah 
and and play a good tough game against a, a, a you know uh, it's an important game you know it's all all of them, we only have five left but the the Pembrokes and the Armstrongs and the people that we're fighting it out with those games are really important but I like what we're going in with better now I like the ammunition that we're bringing to the table because we're finally playing some defense. God bless America. In, in this stretch, I believe you guys won all your home league. You won all your home games, didn't you? Six six league games at home, and then the Dunstan Wales game. So you won seven home games in a row, I think. Is, is that, that right? Is I'm going right? to have to ask my crack sports information I think that's uh, right. staff but right here. I think that's I think right. That's right. Let's yeah. think. We lost North Georgia. Um, who else? Armstrong maybe is in there. Armstrong Aiken. might be in there. Aikens in there. Yeah. So we have quite a few. Yeah. yeah. And you know, you know what started it? Almost started it was Young Harris. We should have won that game on the road, yeah. and we kind of poopied that away. And they hit a buzzer beater. You know, they hit a they hit a prayer almost to beat us by one. That kind of got us maybe. Hey, maybe we can play with some of these good teams. Maybe we can do something. You know, so a loss on the road um, gave us some confidence, and then we have we should have a lot of confidence now. But on the road is a whole different animal, whole different animal. 